Hello, Veteran 021 here. Welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Final Fantasy IV The After Years. In the last episode, I began the game. Biggs and Weds were chaperoning Seador here to the Adam and Isle Grotto, and uh, they're telling us that we. I told you to wait till the full moon. Well, actually, you know what? I have a better idea. How about we wait for this one? moon phase. It's waxing moon right now, and you know what? That's actually better. Why the hell are we gonna wait for a freaking full moon? Right now, white magic would be strengthened. Freaking attack and special attacks would be fine. The only thing that would be bad right now would be black magic. So screw that. I don't want to wait till a full, you know, a full moon. I don't want to. Anyways, uh, in the last episode, I did find a ruby ring while searching around the town. So let's go ahead and give the ruby ring back to this pig here. We aren't really going to need a ruby ring. So, uh, yeah, he gives us 500 gil that we'll use later on. I'm not going to use it right now, but I'm thinking maybe what the hell is coming up on my screen here. Fucking bullshit. What the hell was that shit? Alright, apparently I need to turn something off my Gmail because if they're going to be interrupting shit while I'm recording or playing games and shit, that shit's not going to fly with me. I'm going to delete that shit fast. Anyways, where was I? Oh yes, um, he wants us to wait for a fucking f fine. We'll humor the asshole. Go to the inn here, and uh, he's not gonna charge us, huh? Okay, that works, I guess. Okay, here's your crappy full moon phase. See, this is retarded. Absolutely stupid. Can I change the moon phase back? Whatever. God, that's retarded. So I can't even use the end to change the moon phase to what I want to change it to. Apparently I don't know where the exit to the town is. But yeah, it would be kind of nice, you know how in uh, the original Final Fantasy IV 3D version, how they got the, the thought bubbles? Would have been nice if they would have added something like that to this, but well. So far, I like the 3D look. So, yeah, we gotta obtain the Knight's Emblem. And of course, Biggs is going to be an asshole to Seador because, I don't know. Here at least, Seador is being a little bit too spoony right now. Alright, I'm going to get a tent. And, potion. Oh yeah, by the way, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I stuffed myself with turkey and pumpkin pie and green bean casserole. Who's this guy? I don't remember you from the original game. Actually, I do! I have small tails. Why don't you give me uh, some nice rare tails? that I could use. Alright, so Biggs and Wedge join the party. But yeah, Biggs and Wedge are, in this game, references to Final Fantasy VIII, which are references to characters from Final Fantasy VI, which are references to characters from Star Wars. So there you go. In case you don't know the Biggs and Wedge references. Uh, there you go. 
pretty sure that most people do. But just in case you don't, there you go. Alright. I like how the maps are all filled out and I can see all the treasure and stuff. That's pretty nice. Uh oh. Alright, so we're gonna fight some goblins. I imagine you already you're already aware of how the phase of the moon can affect you on the battlefield. It's a full moon right now, so black magic is more powerful. White magic hasn't changed at all. But take a look at the commands. Physical attacks have been weakened by half. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Make sure to pay attention to these colors during battle. They could have a major impact on the outcome of the fight. And these two are attacking before Seedor can even attack once. Yay! Oh, Seedor gained a level. Speaking of which, I need to look at these clowns' equipments here. Because they have stuff that I want to give to Seedor. Like, uh, yeah, you're going to give up your bronze helm to Seedor. And you are going to give up your iron gloves to Seedor as well. Because he's a lot more important than you. And let's see, what do these guys know? Yeah, okay, Biggs here knows some black magic up to level 2, apparently, or at least the Fira spell. Theodore knows Cure, and Wedge knows Cure and Cura. So let's go. you have some kind of bond with that person. Yeah, you need to... Yeah, bands, that's another gimmick in this game. I wasn't really a huge fan of. It's like the uh, combination attacks and Chrono Trigger. So yeah, these two are going to band together with Vibra Edge. Nice little animation there. But that doesn't... Oh, I was going to say, that doesn't kill them, but apparently it does. Yay! Uh, no. No, it wasn't. It was just fine. Maybe this version of the game will actually drop items more often, so maybe it's easier to farm for tails. That would be nice. Wait a minute. Okay, so Biggs, you have a long sword. Which one is better, a long sword or a broad sword? Oh, wait. Oh, no, a long sword is. You're getting a long sword. You are getting a broad sword. For now. And as far as, yeah, as far as uh, equipment for Biggs and Wedge, I could remove it at one point because they're supposed to leave the, uh, the party permanently, but um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Is there anything up here? There is. What the hell? Do they not show some chests on the map or something? Interesting. 
So, okay, sometimes on the maps you still can't see the chest, so you gotta explore anyways. Okay, there's nothing there. Yeah, that first chest threw me off because I found I saw it like right away, but that chest that I just found, uh, yeah, I didn't see on the uh, the map. So I guess watch out for chests, anyways. Don't trust the map. The map will deceive you. Here? Yes, there is. All right, we get an ether or an ether, like some people call them. <laughs> Not gonna name names, but some of you might know know who I'm talking about. It's not ether, or it's not ether. It's ether. But yeah. So yeah, we got another new enemy here. We got uh, larvas, I guess, or. Yeah, they're pretty easy. Yay! What's up, guys? Why does he keep saying that that has nothing to do with it? Why is the prince trying to make the Red Wings anyways? I mean, he's the prince. Can't they just have somebody else command the Red Wings? You know, some other underling of Baron or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't understand, man. Oh, hey. Alright. Chest over here. Just gotta make sure. I can't remember all the chests, so... Yeah. But hey, save points are nice. I like save points. Alright. Time to move on. Get through most of this cave before I end it, hopefully. And is there a secret passage over here? I believe there must be. Alright, and in this chest we get a Phoenix Down. Those are nice to have. Can't complain about those. Alright, our first battle was Cedor by himself. And as you can see, his attack is probably just barely strong enough to kill these things. Oh, I don't... Oops. I don't know what happened there. God. Yeah, something got screwed up. Alright. High potion? Wow. Gained two levels on that battle. It's crazy. Just making sure there's no treasure. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's definitely going to be harder to find treasure and see treasure, I think, in this version of the game because you just don't see as much of, you know, the dungeons as you do in the previous versions, you know, especially like the WiiWare version. Everything was so zoomed out and, and small. You could, you know, you could see stuff really easy. This version's probably not going to be as easy to see everything. So unless you know everything by heart, then it's going to be harder. I would imagine. There. Now, my big problem with the chapters of this game is just, you know, this game was meant, you were meant to have parties in this game of at least two to three people. I mean, when the game makes you do everything with like one or two characters for most chapters, I mean, it's just, it sucks because, you know, a lot of times you just want a full party, you know? At least that's how I see it. Alright, B3. Man, fuck. Alright, we got a new enemy here. We got a... Uh, Eyewing Moth. I think these guys can uh, put blindness on you, I think. At least they do in the original game. Hourglass, alright. Those are nice. Yeah, you know what? I do like the way it seems like enemies drop items more often in this version. I don't know if I'm just getting you know, extremely lucky so far, but enemies are dropping items more like in the uh, Final Fantasy IV 3D version. So yeah, that is very, very nice. That's going to especially be nice later on when I'm trying to farm for tails in the final chapter. So I'm already liking this remake, because that was a bitch trying to get rare items. In, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it, it's easier in the PSP version. Uh, you know, with the challenge dungeons, but, you know, still trying to get the item drops from enemies, that was a bitch. Because the drop rate is very, very low. But it seems like they've upped it a little bit for this, which is good. I like that. Ah. Anything else? Wait a minute. Did I see a secret passage just now? Yeah, that looks like... Oh shit, that's not a secret passage. It sure looked like one though. Uh, anything down here? Guess not. Alright. Oh, wait a minute, there's gotta be something down there. Hmm. Where is this secret passage? Ah, I did find it. It is down here. Alright. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I 
iron gloves. Yeah, I, I stole those from uh, from Wedge already. But thanks anyways, game. Alright, anyways. Um, yeah, we're going over here now. Should be pretty close to a save point. Yeah, alright. Well, this is a good time to end the episode. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV. The After Years. In the next episode, we're going to guide Cecil to the chest with the Knight's Emblem and see if we can obtain it. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.